I'm hyped for the Monkey Bone game since the end of 2023. And I'm not as satisfied as I expected. But why? What is the problem? Let's find out together. We start with a very hype intro, which the most of you probably know already, so let's spice it up a bit. A few wannabe bodybuilder knocked on our door together with a small army of, I don't know, maybe 10,000 soldiers. But they were too afraid to fight with the monkey king, so the little boy here had to fight us. Our little brofist knocked a few soldiers out, so the bodybuilder started attacking us. In the end, I have to admit that the script did not allow us to win. And here we are. Yes, that's me. And come on, that guy is hard. Where was I? Oh yeah, our adventure starts. We met Mr. Potato Head, who explains us a few things like, I don't know, he always runs away when it gets risky and just says, Good luck to you! But yeah, he's there too. We want to collect the six relics from Sun Wukong. On our way there, we met some simple enemies, which are so far very useless and for real one shot. Then we find a bull who seems to be a guard, and so obviously his name is Bull Guard. Very creative, I know, I know. We unfortunately slipped in the puddle as a bull guard wanted to hit me with his axe. He freezed thanks to the one and only Potato Head. I'm sorry, I have really no idea what your name is, but um, yeah, I think that's fine. The old man teaches out the technique and we beat it. The first mini 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 boss. To be not that obvious, the old man transformed us into a bee. I tried to fuck them up, but they really did not care about us. Unfortunately, I did not realize that the fly has a timer, and so we found the trend boss of the game. Okay, last try, buddy, yeah. If you, if you beat me up one more time, I, I respect you. Too early again. Aww. Well, as I said, he's the true end boss. I ignored him, now moved on to Guangzi, who we slapped first try. Thanks to him, we can now transform ourselves into a fucking wolf with a fire spear, which is quite cool. Then there's a huge bear with a three tongue. And if you see those things, it's like a red button. You have to smash it. The old guy did not like that. You just had to make some noise, did you? But who cares? He's running away the entire time anyways. Moving on, we met my new sweet pet. I know what you want to say. But Haki, this Chinese name does not sound cute. And yeah, you are right. That's why we rename him to Fluff Fluff. Like, look at this fur. If that isn't fluffy, I don't know. So we played a little game with Fluff Fluff and now he is sleeping a bit. The enemies start to get a bit harder, which means we just don't one shot them anymore. But still something. Got a bit boring to be like Saitama and thinking about that. I do understand him now even better than before. But sorry, I drift away. We need those six relics, which means we have to beat some serious enemies. But unfortunately, as we met Taserface from Guardians of the Galaxy, we had zero HP. Yeah, surely it was not the most fair fight ever, but that's okay. He gave us a second chance, which he probably already regret because we bonked his head one more time and we smashed one more time a huge bell. So far I have to say the game has been very easy. Okay, this water snake was honestly the first boss I struggled with. Blue guy does not count, he's surely designed to struggle with in the beginning. Well, after a chilled hour, we have also finally beaten the water snake and could move on. And by that, I mean smashing the third bell. And a gate has been opened, the gate to the ancient Guangwai temple. Okay, I'm not sure if I spelled that right, but who cares? And who could be in the temple? Only one way to find out. Oh no. It's a guy, but not blue anymore. Another guy, yeah, the white guy. <laughs> it's a monkey. He can, he can fucking sniff us. I think he doesn't like us. Well, I have to thank blue guy, because I know already the most moves of white guy now. But he has some boring other moves as well. Sometimes he sent those already dead bodies to us and let them make suicide explosion moves. But since this is useless, he decided to take that damn soul instead and heal herself. Everything else is the same to blue guy, so we could beat this one very quick with a fire spin attack and a smooth flap on the ass which he deserves so badly. It kinda looks like we had this poor soul here, so let's take a breath and fulfill his last wish. 
Not far away was another door, so we knocked here as well and a very muscular munch with the head of a rat opened the door. We fight it like a rat as well, spitting fire and being invisible. And to top it off, after I'm beating him, he tells me I have cheap tricks and runs away. And then he appeared as a huge black beer. A rat would still fit better, but whatever. We failed a few times, my chat tried to help me with the beer fight rules. If it's black, fight back. Thanks for this advice, chat, because I think thought if it's black, Massage is back, but now that Chad told me that, we could easily win here and he acts like a rat again, begging for mercy. Potato Head appeared out of nowhere, taught us to just ignore this beautiful piece of something and to just collect the first sage relic. And so we did and finished chapter 1 with that. Let's make here a short break before we continue and talk about what I liked and didn't like so far. I do not like it when bosses are too easy and here we beat it Guangzi first try, Fluffler first try, Taser face second try because we were first time literally one shot, Water Snake took me actually one hour which was nice, the white guy first try, Red Man first try, then the red beer took me 30 minutes again and was also quite good. But actually 5 out of 7 first try it's not nice and not what I like to play. Additionally to those, boss fights are nothing special. We don't have puzzles, we don't have jump and runs or anything. So basically the bosses are the main mechanic. And for that they are too easy in my opinion. Let's go to the pro sides. What do I like? I, the graphic is amazing. I probably do not have to talk about that. Even though the video quality is kind of meh, I'm sorry for that. I really try to fix it for the future time. I don't know why it looks that terrible. The combat is fucking amazing. I love the slow motions when you dodge perfectly. I like the transformation which we can do. They are fucking cool and the character designs are great. Even though I trash talk mostly all of them like Potato Head, Red Guy, Red Beer and so on. But that's just my admitting to acknowledge them, you know? Like I, I just acknowledge them for having a great design and that's why I trash talk them. That's how it works. So there's actually much more on the pro side than on the con side and we only play chapter once. So for me, I think the bosses will probably get harder. And the story may be a bit deeper because the story was also very meh so far. It's just the intro, you know? So let's go on to chapter 2. And I got an idea why you have come here, my friend. Haste makes waste. <laughs> I'll lend you a hand. What's your step in? Get more shots and you'll be high and dry. The goat here kept singing in chapter 2, but let's start with what actually happened here. Enemies got more annoying. The intro scene was a hint that here are more enemies with an arrow. I also found two elite enemies, at least I call them like that, because they have no cutscene but still the boss bar like bosses do. You can compare them to the bull guard who we beat it in the beginning. They were not that hard to beat, but since I do not count them as bosses, they were a nice add-on. Talking about bosses, you know what happens if we knock on the door, a boss appears. Here we have father and son discussing about the most important question for a man. But or boobies, let me know that in the comments. I for myself have to say I love boobies, but if I have to decide, it's probably the butt. Talking about butts, I spank the son's one and his daddy run away to the older brother. And I can tell you that family is not always great, but eating your own father is something you should never do in real life. This will make you look like a killer, but since we are not a killer, more an helper, I took revenge for the father and beat it his older son. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm such a good guy. Hey, 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 don't look at me like that. I'm for real not a murderer. And if you think so, then please take a look at the cheap version of Tigress from Kung Fu Panda. That looks for me like a core bloody killer. But how cheap this version is does not matter. He has some cool fighting moves. More than Kung Fu, he can also fight with a sword, be a bloodbender and go into a full defense mode as a stone stager. Just to break out like flash and attack you. But if you know that, the dodge get pretty simple. Still, a very nice boss. I give it a solid 8 from 10. 
Oh yeah, and as I said, Little Bro is here to sing for us, we learn the perfect defense as well and go on. On the Desert Storm Bridge, some mighty warrior that awaits us and she play with my feelings very bad. As I thought we made him first try, he decided to go mad and slapped me down. Well, okay, I, I, I was greedy as hell. Now we have the classical Souls-like moment where you int a few times and feel like a piece of shit because we actually had him first try and throwed everything away. God damn, did I miss that feeling. We bonked the stone and now we had multiple options of where we want to go. I could not decide it and made a break here. And by that I mean I haven't played more than that, signed that, because let's go back to the pros and cons from earlier. The bosses got harder, so let's put this on the neutral part, signed they are still not that difficult. Maybe because of the amount of the bosses, they had to make the beginning a bit easier, but this felt for me so far hard to explain, I don't know, maybe heartless? Like, move from boss to boss, slap their ass and done. No deep story, no emotions in general, and then the bosses are between easy and medium, where they seem like the main part of the game. Overall, I do not want to say the game is bad, but probably not what I expected. And with that, my hype of 9 months for this game kind of destroyed my enjoyment. So, in a few days or maybe weeks, I play the game again, continuing where I stopped and maybe then I have more neutral mind and can enjoy the game like many others did. If you want to see more difficult games, check out my channel. I focus on Metroidvania, Souls-like, Rook-like games and yeah, have fun!